When Omicron surge started in our country, many of us already knew something about it as an infection due to the so-called mild symptoms being experienced by people in other countries. But one urgent question I had whether those who got the Omicron infection, although mild or asymptomatic, will eventually develop the so-called long COVID syndrome. We all know that long COVID exists after COVID infection is a cluster of debilitating symptoms that include fatigue, headache, pain, and shortness of breath that can last for months after the initial infection. So the question is, if you got Omicron, even if mild, will you likely develop the symptoms of long COVID syndrome? Let's watch this. So long COVID syndrome is a constellation of symptoms that develop later after an acute infection of COVID-19. It is defined as a collection of symptoms that develop during or following a confirmed or suspected case of COVID-19 and which continues for more than 28 days. Post-COVID has been shown to affect almost any other system of the body. In fact, in one survey, approximately 65% of the respondents experience symptoms for at least six months. And for this population, the top symptoms after six months, which persisted to cause debilitating signs and symptoms, were primarily muscle fatigue, post-exertional malaise, cognitive dysfunction, which includes brain fog or forgetfulness, sensory motor symptoms, including headache and memory issues. So with Omicron surge, and with a lot of whom we know got COVID-19 infection, the potential implications of the possibility of getting post-COVID syndrome is huge. It being widely contagious and having infected so many millions of people, even if only a fraction of those who catch it do develop long COVID, we are still counting millions who could be affected and ill with symptoms in the months or years to come. It is estimated that approximately 30% of people infected with coronavirus will get long COVID. But with Omicron infections, there are reasons to be both cautiously optimistic, but at the same time, very concerned. In fact, UK recently shed light on long COVID in terms of groups at risk including the possibility of getting long COVID with Omicron. According to the data so far, whatever variant of COVID-19, there's really no difference between Delta, Beta, or Omicron for the development of long COVID symptoms. The good news is most likely the incidence of long COVID will be lower as Omicron infection is milder and has not been shown to cause permanent change in terms of inflammatory process in the body. But we have to be very cautious at the same time, as even if the incidence of long COVID with Omicron is low at around 2 to 3% of cases, but due to its increased transmissibility, the number of cases will continue to be high. Therefore, the number of people who will experience long COVID will increase proportionately. Therefore, in our clinics, we will be seeing more and more of our patients, even with mild COVID, to complain of long COVID symptoms. One UK study, which looked at data from October 2021 that followed more than 1,000 hospitalized COVID patients, found that 71% of them did not fully recover nearly up to six months later. What we do hope, however, is that for now, there is no reason to think at this point that Omicron will be more likely to cause a long-haul condition than other variants. But being more optimistic is the fact that more patients during the time of Omicron surge have now been vaccinated and therefore one 
positive factor that could decrease Omicron's long impact is the prevalence of vaccinations. The shot has been shown not only to reduce the risk of serious illness in the first place, but they have been shown to lower the chances of developing long COVID in the event of a breakthrough infection. One study published in Lancet suggested only 5% of individuals who had breakthrough infection after receiving two doses of COVID-19 vaccine developed symptoms that lingered for more than 28 days compared to 11% of the unvaccinated people, meaning full vaccination was linked to a risk reduction of developing low COVID by more than half. The same findings were noted in Israel showing that fully vaccinated people with breakthrough infections were less than half as likely to develop long COVID symptoms. But for some individuals, long COVID symptoms can be mild, but for others, they can be life-changing. And this is what I want to warn everyone else, that even if you get mild symptoms, don't be complacent. You still go around seeing other people outside without masks because anyway, if you get Omicron, it will be mild. Remember, nearly one third of the people with long COVID in one study continued to have severe cognitive difficulties that affected their ability to concentrate, speak and remember, and which were not present before the illness. In fact, some patients have to change jobs or to stop working as a result of their illness, meaning try not to get infected because even if with vaccination, if you're young and healthy, then death from COVID may be highly unlikely. But severe debilitation from long COVID syndrome is not. It continues to be a possibility. There are no data yet on how booster shots affect long COVID risk, but it makes sense that they would probably reduce the danger further. In short, my simple advice to everyone is don't be fooled and be tempted to explore the world now and be exposed. Don't believe the notion that Omicron is already at its worst and will only be mild and will manifest simply like flu with just one to two days of fever and that's it. In reality, it is not that simple because we're seeing firsthand how much it can devastate an infected individual and live with long COVID after initial infection. It doesn't seem, therefore, to be worth the risk. In fact, it is really a huge gamble to assume that you're not going to be the one in 10 or even one in 100 who goes on to have your entire life turned upside down because of the long-term problems you will encounter due to a mild COVID infection. So please continue to practice safe protocol. Going outside is okay, but continue to wear a mask. I will continue to stay away from staying indoors for long without a mask as COVID continues to be with us and will continue to infect anyone who is exposed. It may seem to be gone, but COVID is very much alive in our midst. Again, this is Dr. Jerry Tan. Stay safe and see you again soon.